Thursday morning test drive for OPS and the buses that get kids to and from school went off without a hitch. We were there as students arrived to start the new school year at Wilson Focus Elementary School. The buses were on time and there were no problems, which is the goal when everyone else in the district returns to class on August 17th. We want consistency. We want to make sure the students see the same driver on an everyday basis. Student Transportation of America is also trying to get more accurate drive time estimates. We also are going to do something a little different this year when they uh, go out to pick up the uh, do the dry runs. We plan on having drivers to wait at least a minute at each stop to account for the load counts. New this year, OPS changed the transportation guidelines for elementary and middle schoolers. Parents can still opt for their children to attend any OPS school, but they'll only be eligible for transportation to schools within their partner zone. The letters haven't gone out yet, so I think when parents get the notification, if they are affected and they have some concerns, uh, they're free to call the number. And those changes mean there are 146 fewer routes for drivers to cover which will ensure there are enough drivers this year. But training backups is still a priority. What we call them are spare drivers. So what we do is we allow them to go out on routes when we don't have to use them on particular days and allow them to kind of learn the city, learn the routes in the event that the regular driver doesn't make it in. And another OPS change affecting buses, elementary school students who live within a mile and middle schoolers who live within a mile and a half are now classified as walking distance and won't be bused. Reporting in Omaha, Lauren Robinson, KETV News Watch 7. And